$4,000 by the age of 17. With that $4,000, he purchased a rooming house and founded Hall Financial Group. Owning and managing student rental properties, Craig was a millionaire by age 21, amassing up to $4 billion in real estate and oil and gas interests by the early 1980s. In the mid-80s, the real estate and oil and gas markets crashed. Craig's businesses suffered financially and went into years of a survival mode. He attempted to protect his investors by liquidating virtually all of his personal assets to support that effort. In the years since, he has come back strong. In addition to real estate and oil and gas assets, Craig is one of the largest investors in American Airlines, owns a software business, two wineries, and 3,400 acres of land and vineyards in Napa Valley, and invests in a diversified array of other businesses. My father actually was a sailor in the Navy. My mother was one of the first women to enlist in the Navy. As they got out of the service, they started a family and worked uh, to make ends meet. I had epilepsy as a child. I remember waking up in the hospital uh, after seizures. I would have to have a test. They would um, cut out a little bit of my hair and then they'd stick on an electrode. And then they have all these electrodes all over my head. As a little kid, it's just scary as all get out. In those days, they treated epileptic uh, seizures with phenobarbital, which was a heavy depressant. I couldn't uh, learn to read. I, I had uh, problems with just adjusting to normal social life as well as academics. I became more of a loner than uh, most children. What I started doing as an alternative was working hard and saving money. And from age 10 on, I had little businesses. And by the time I was 21, I bought actually about 25 buildings. I figured the way I could start to pay for my own buildings was by managing properties for other people. The jobs I got were jobs that nobody else wanted. I used to go visit a couple of partners that owned a building that, that we ran. And I remember one time one guy lifted me up against the wall and another guy took a gun out and said, how much are you stealing this month? Never stole anything from anyone, let alone what I think about uh, messing with these guys. But it was a hard way to make, uh, make a living, but I used that money to help pay for the losses on the things that I owned. Eventually, I gravitated from student housing into what I called real people housing. And so at one point, we were the second largest owner of apartments in the world. You know, 1986, the whole world kind of came uh, undone. We had $525 million of future payments owed to us by investors that were at stake. Uh, we had a dramatically downturning real estate market. There's no doubt I was in a tremendous depression personally. I would sleep uh, two to three hours a night at best. I sold everything I owned. I was in the survival business. But over the last uh, decade plus since then, business is back bigger and better than, than ever. You can overcome obstacles, and, and Craig did. I think when you fall and you bring yourself back up, you're stronger because of it. One can earn a tremendous life uh, if they work hard at it and have a passion and don't take no for an answer. Ladies and gentlemen, Horatio Alger Association member Craig Hall.